And I have another John Jett album. And this one's, I think this is self-titled, yeah. And it's really awesome. Like, I'll, okay, like I said, why does the camera keep going dark? Okay, whatever. Like, um, I like love John Jett, so like, you know, but yeah. It has like a bunch, it has like, I really like the French song. Oh, I like playing, I love playing a fire. Like, that one's my favorite one, like, seriously. What the fuck was that? Okay, <laughs> that scared me. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, right. But yeah, actually, I kind of like, I like most of the songs in this album. I like We Love John Jett. The cover's like really badass, so I thought this was pretty cool. Oh, look, and another Lita Ford album right next to John Jett. And I don't run away, of course. And this one is Out for Blood. And like, I actually like that song, Out for Blood. You know? Motley Crue Shot the Devil. And this is like one of my favorite, like, 80s Motley Crue albums. And, I don't know, I actually, like, this album's like really awesome, like, I really, really, like, love Shot the Devil. Like, when I played it, like, live, it was, like, so awesome, and, like, there was, like, Nikki was shooting, like, fire on his bass guitar, and, like, there was fire everywhere, and it was really, really badass. So every time, like, I listen to that song, I think of that moment, like, at the concert, you know, so I think that's, like, really cool. But, yeah, they have, like, a bunch of, like, good, good songs here. Like, I really love Looks Tech Hill, I like Knock em Dead Kid, I like Tune Fall in Love, I like Helter Skelter, Ten Seconds to Love, God Bless the Children to Be, sounds pretty cool, too, like, even though it's, like... Not that long, but I think that's the short one. I can't remember. It's like kind of like, okay, whatever. But yeah, and the inside cover is like really, really badass because like it has like all of them on there. And I thought that was like really, really cool. And I actually like, I really wish I could hang this on my wall somewhere, but I don't want to like just hang up this thing, you know? Because like, that's maybe like if I buy like a really like beat up one, like one that doesn't work, then yeah, I'll probably hang that up. But I don't know. This is okay, yeah, but this is like a really, really badass album. And like, this is like so awesome. Next is Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, and Guns N' Roses was like my most favorite band like sophomore year, and like I saw this at like like the market I went to, cause I usually I usually go to sing like every like month, and like they sell like vendors sell much cool stuff, but like I saw this and I had to buy it even though it was like twenty dollars or something, but I was like obsessed with like Guns N' Roses at the time, so yeah, I like I like love every single song in this album. The next one is Van Halen Two, and. I don't know, I can't remember how long. The next one is ACDC, that there be rock. And like when I was like younger, like when I was like fifth grade, I used to play rock band and let there be rock. The song was on rock band and I used to like play guitar to that and I would play so like everything. Like it was so much fun to play. So every time I hear a song, I think like those times. But anyways, but yeah, this is probably like one of my other like favorite like ACDC albums and I think it's like really cool. Because I mean, obviously it has let there be rock. And it's like one of my most favorite songs from ACDC. Now, maybe not my number one song from ACDC, but it's like it's up there, you know? So. But yeah, there. And the next one is my most favorite Molly Crew album ever. Like, I think it might be number one. I don't know. But like, the first album, it was like raw. It was like really good. Like, I loved it. It had like a different sound to it like than the other albums, you know? But like, of course, it was like the first album. So yeah. But I actually like the cover a lot too. Like, I love like every single song in here. Like, the first song I ever heard of Molly Crew was Livewire. So, but Livewire is on this album. <sighs> I need to catch my breath. Okay, sorry. And like every single song I love on here, like every single song I really love in here, like Come On and Dance, Public Enemy Number One, Merry Go Round, Take Me to the Top, <sighs> and then there's PC Reaction, Starry Eyes, You Passed Love on the Show. Okay, so like they played on with the show, and I went to see Molly Crew like two years ago in concert, and oh my god, I cried because like Vince Neil was like close your eyes and pretend it's like 1981, and I started crying, dude. I was just like, oh my god, I was like, no, I'm like they're playing this song right now. It's like one of my most favorite songs, and like. The, like their first album so yeah the next one is scorpions love at first thing and it has rocket like a hurricane that's like probably like that's like a really good song like i don't care if it's like if it's like the most popular one ever but like i love that song but yeah and there's even bad boys running wild there's i'm leaving you i really love the song i love i'm leaving you because like it's really awesome and then there's big city nights and they're still loving you too but like a lot i like to do like like i like i like I love like all these songs a lot. Like I used to work, like, I used to like work out to this album a lot. Like I don't know. This is, this is like my workout album right here, honestly. The next one is Rat Out of Cellar. And Round and Round is on this album and like I love that song a lot. But other than that, there is Wanted Man, You're in Trouble, Lack of Communication, Back from More. And I actually like seeing the camera a lot too. But yeah, all these songs are pretty good. This is like one of my favorite, like most favorite like rat albums all up there. And so this one is Great White, and this one was a gift from like like someone gave this to me as a gift, and this one is Great White once bitten, and okay, the, like I really love the song Rock Me, like that was my most favorite song like from Great White ever, like Rock Me is like really awesome, like I don't know that song is just awesome. The next album is Turbo, and like 
Actually, this is like the only Juice Priest album I have so far. Like, I haven't had a chance to buy any more, but I wish I could. Anyways, but like, the only reason why I bought this song, because they had, I mean, this this album was because like, they had a song, Trouble Lover, on it. And like, at the time, like, during my sophomore year, I was like super obsessed with Trouble Lover. Like, they always played it on my home and I would go crazy every time I hear it. I go crazy every time I hear it on this like 80s radio app I had. And I don't know. That song was like, like the best Juice Priest song at the time for me. Like, I really, I still love the song to this day. But yeah, there's Trouble Lover, Locked In. I don't know. Hold on. I don't really, I can't remember much of these songs. I've listened to this one like forever. But yeah, apparently like a lot of people don't really like this album. Oh, I think that's what I've heard. I'm not too sure, but yeah. But this is like one of my favorite, like, well, actually like the only like, Juice Priest album I have. I mean, I heard more Juice Priest songs, obviously, but right now this is like the only Juice Priest album I have so far. The next one is probably the most popular ACDC album out there is Highway to Hell. I mean, I don't know if it's most popular. I mean, obviously, everybody has at least seen this cover at least once in their life, so, yeah. But I bought this. This is, like, my very first vinyl that I ever bought with my money. Like, actually, the, the first one I ever had, like, ever gotten, ever. So, yeah, this is, like, one of my most, like, favorite ones out there. And it's, like, it's always one of my, like, my favorite. Anyway, so, but, yeah, it has, like, Highway to Hell. I mean, I, obviously, everybody knows that song. Then there's Girls Got Rhythm, Walk All Over You, Touch Too Much, Speeding Around the Bush. Shot down the flames, get it hot, if you want blood, you got it. Love Hungry Man and Night Prowler. Night Prowler is like one of my most favorite songs because like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain why it's my favorite song. But yeah, it's like, I love that song, Night Prowler, so much. Like, it's an awesome song. Like, it's just awesome. The next one is, it's kind of like a, I guess it's like a single, I guess. I'm not too sure, but it's Dokken, Dream Warriors. And I guess they did this for, um, what's it called? For the Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And it has Dream Warriors on it, Back for the Attack, and Paris is Burning. I love all of these songs. Like, I used to see the Dream Warriors music video all the time on TV, and like, I love that song a lot. But I actually like these other two songs a lot, too. So, yeah, this is like one of my favorites over here. The next one is Poison. Oh, I don't think it's too bad to here. Okay, next one is Poison, Open Up and Say Ah. And this is like the second vinyl I ever got, like, my money. The rest of the vinyls, I don't remember when I got them, like, Whatever they were in. But anyways, yeah, this is like the second one I ever got. And it has like I like love every single like song one here, so it's like really awesome. Like I really love <clears throat> nothing but a good time, obviously. It's like good. But also like Love on the Rocks. <sighs> I, I can't breathe, sorry. <laughs> and then there's Fallen Angel, Every Rose Has Dorn. Has a Storm. I'm not too sure if I like that song too much. I heard that song way too much and I'm like, I don't know about it anymore. But yeah. Yeah, and I like the back cover a lot because the pictures in them on there. Okay, next one is Cinderella. Nobody, I mean, Night Songs. I'm going to say cool. I want to say that. Okay, this next one is Cinderella's Night Songs. And, okay, this album, I love this album a lot. Like, I seriously love it a lot. Like, it has Night Songs, Shake Me, Nobody's Fool, Nothing for Nothing, What's Around the Bed, Hell, Hell on Wheels, Somebody Save Me, In From the Outside, Push Push, and Back Home Again. I really love this song a lot. I actually really like Shake Me a lot. I like Night Songs a lot, too. Uh, uh, those are like my two like most favorite songs on the album, so yeah, I just like really cool. Next one is an ACDC album, and it is Dirty D's Done Cheap. And I don't know, the songs this album is like pretty cool too, cause like I mean it has Dirty D's Done Cheap. Then there's Problem Trials, Rocker, <sighs> Right On, and then I think that one song, I think Big Balls. That song, I don't know the lyrics. Sometimes I read it, it kind of just made me laugh. Like it's really funny, but that's like kind of like a funny song, honestly. Next one it was a gift from my boyfriend and it's Scorpion Savage Amusement. I don't know when he gave it to me, I can't remember, but he gave it to me as a present, I don't remember, but yeah. I like love all these songs on here and they're really cool. Next one is Autograph Sign In Please. And this album, I haven't, okay, I haven't listened to this in a while, but I actually like the song a lot, okay. And then, okay, like, I, I honestly, like, obviously, like, the most, like, they're, probably their hit, like, um, is Turn Up The Radio and I like this song a lot because like, that's like, the one I heard in Metal Mania. So yeah, I like this song a lot. Anyway, but then there's Tender To Me, 19 Nonstop, Cloud 10, Deep Deep End, My Girlfriend's Boyfriend Isn't Me, Do A Love, Freddy, and The Night and All I'm Gonna Take. I actually like, I like, like this album a lot even though I haven't listened to it that much, but like the first time like, I listened to it, I actually liked it a lot. Next one is Adore's Greatest Hits and it has like all the greatest hits on it. I don't play the name in all, but yeah, I'm pretty sure if you know Adore's, you'll know all the songs in here. And this is like, really good um because like all my greatest hits like they have a bunch of other good songs that are on here but yeah this is this should do it the next one is oh crap next one is Jonjet I Love Rock and Roll and okay like when I saw this album 
I had to buy it. Like, this is my first Dungeon album I ever bought. And, like, I, I don't know. I've never seen, like, Dungeon album anywhere, not, like, where I live. So, like, last year, after I bought this, I started seeing Dungeon everywhere anyways. But anyways, yeah. And it has, like, I love rock and roll. Like, I love, okay, it's, like, one of my favorite songs for her. But then there's, hold on. Why do you know I'm Spanish? There's I'm Gonna Run Away, Love Is Pain, Cut Someone Clover. <sighs> and then there's, I don't remember what else I liked, but. Okay, I just love this album a lot. That's all I'm gonna say. Like every single song, I like a lot. But like those couple songs, I like them the most. And the next is my most favorite vinyl of them all. Like okay, I don't care. Like I don't know. But like this is like my most favorite one out of them all. Cause like it's the best thing ever. Like I've ever bought money. I don't care if it cost me like almost forty dollars to like buy it and everything. But it is slash. Hold on, what's it called? Slash World on Fire. And it's <laughs> it's just, it's just the best album I ever bought my money. I don't care if like cost me like so much money. I love this album so much, and it kind of, it was kind of bent when it came in the mail, I don't I was kind of pissed about that, actually. My mom kind of wanted me to return it, but, like, it took, like, forever to get here, like, a month, like, I ordered it, like, a month before, and it took forever to get here, I don't know why. But, yeah, there's, like, the cover on there, it has pictures, and it opens up, and it has, like, like, all that stuff from, like, the album, it has, like, the songs in here. And I'm sure you guys won the, the vinyls in here. And they're actually red, and I thought that was really, really cool. You see, I think it's like really, really cool. I got this from their official website, but yeah, it took forever to get here. Like, I was like so pissed, but like, once it got here, like, I was like really, really happy. The next one is Van Halen, it's subtitled, and huh, let's this plastic. Okay, yeah, it has it's Van Halen, and I actually like a lot, a lot of the songs on here. Okay, I just like every single song in here, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, it has Running Devil. Like, I seriously, okay, that song, like, was like the first part of the Van Halen song I ever heard. I never heard it on, like, Little Nicky when I was little. And I just love that song. Then there's Eight Talking About Love. There's Eruption. I don't know, I think those are, like, the only, like, hits on there. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not sure if Eruption is, but yeah. Every single song in here, I love it. Like, I love every single song in here, like, a lot. Next one is Journey Escape. I have listened to this one like forever, so it's been a while, but yeah, this one's the next one. Next one is ACDC Flick and Switch. And I actually haven't actually had time to actually listen, like to actually sit down and listen to it, because like, every time I listen to it, I kind of like space off and like, you know, do whatever. But yeah, actually, actually, don't even, I, I forgot how these songs like sounded, but I need, I, like, I, I just need to go back later and like listen to it or something. But yeah, next one is Led Zeppelin, and I don't know what title, what the title is, cause it's, I don't know, but it's like, this is from my pen pal, she sent it to me, and, hold on, I can't find out this, I don't even know what the heck's called, I think it's just subtitled, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's how the inside cover looks like, and it's really, it looks like a really old album, like it's all beat up, but yeah, yeah, it's subtitled, but yeah, it has like a lot of good songs in here. And it's actually like in really good condition, like despite like the cover and stuff, but yeah. The next is another one of my pen pal sent me and it's Kansas. I actually haven't listened to this one too much. It's that's over it. How do you pronounce that? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, but I think the only song that I like hundred percent know is Carry On My Wayward Carry On Wayward Son. Like I like I used to play rock band like when I was little, so like I used to play that song all the time when I was little, so that's like the song that I'm most, but like I need to actually sit down and listen to it. Like I remember listening to it and it was like really good, but like I can't remember the songs in here too well because it's been like a long time. Next one is Doors Morrison Hotel. This is another one that needs to tell listen to. But yeah, but it has Roadhouse Blues. I actually like really love Peace Rock a lot. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah. I think Waiting for yeah. I know Waiting for the Sun. But this is like another one that I need to like really just sit down and listen to because like I just space out when I listen to some albums for some reason. But yeah, I, this is. I think it'll be a really good one to listen to it, you know? The, the, the dude I bought it from, he said it was like really good. And I was like, okay, I'll just buy it from you. And then I just bought it and I was like, oh, well, I never listened to it. So, oh, yes, I have some Queen albums. There's just two of them. This one is News of the World and Night Dabra. They, I think, I don't know. I'm like, I kind of like, actually haven't listened to this album too much. But yeah, there's, hold on, we're just songs in here. Oh yeah, there's We Will Rock You and We Are Champion. Like, those are the only two I know, but I haven't really listened to it, but yeah. Next one, it, and the next one I said is Night Opera. I, I actually bought it just because I had Bohemian Rhapsody in it, but actually, like, some of the songs on here, too. I can't remember which one I liked, huh? Um, crap. But yeah, there, I can't remember what they're called, but there's, like, some songs I liked on here. But yeah. Next one is Police Synchronicity-ish? I don't know. 
yeah, I think I just bought this one just because it had like one sauna light on here and that was, what's it called? What was it called? Hold on. I know it's, I forgot it. Whatever. Um, hold on. Where the hell is it? I don't know. What was it called? Hold on. I'm trying to think. I forgot what it's called. Hold up. What the heck was it called? Whatever. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Every Betty take, like, I don't know. That's like the only song that got new and liked on there. I haven't really actually listened to it other than that song, but yeah. I still got this one. This one is Duran Duran. I'm not too sure what this is. It, it says Carnival on it. I think it's a single. It's just mini LP for songs. And I actually like, only, the reason why I have it is because I had the song Hungry at the Wolf. And that's like the only song I listened to. Like, I don't know. This is like a beat up, so I don't know. This is the only reason I have it. Next one it was a gift for my mom for like Christmas. And I actually haven't really listened to it. Only like one song on here. And it's had like a whole, I don't know. I'm not really too much into like Nine Inch Nails, so yeah. Next one is David Lee Roth, Crazy from the Heat. And I actually like all the songs in here. Like I really love California Girls. Mm, yeah, but I actually like most of these songs on here. Next one, it was a Hot Topic exclusive Nightmare Before Christmas thing and I bought it because it looked really cool. And I listened to it a couple times and like I love Nightmare Before Christmas a lot. But yeah, I thought it was like really cool because it was like picture disc and stuff. Hold on, let me take them out so I can show you guys. They're like, really, they're like really cool picture discs. I thought they were like really cool to own, so that's why I bought it. You know, it cost me like thirty dollars, but it's okay, you know. <laughs> I probably, I'm pretty sure I paid like over like two hundred dollars or so, like on all my vinyl. So yeah, but here it is. And I thought it was like really cool. And it has like all the music from the movie. Next is Step Up with Gold, and it has all the greatest hits on there. And that's all I'm really gonna say, cause like I'm pretty sure I don't know if you guys know who Step Up Wolf is, but okay, Step Up Wolf is like my grandma's like favorite band, and like. They have the song like Born in the Wild and Magic Carpet Ride. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know the songs. Or if not, then whatever. But yeah. They have like all those great hits on there. I actually like the most songs in here. Next one is Cheap Cheap Trick Live at Buddha something. I don't know. It's like Bit Off or something right there. So I think it says on the vinyl. Hold up. But yeah. It's like some live somewhere in like Japan. Budo can. Okay. But yeah. I actually haven't listened to this song much. I can't remember what happened on there. But yeah. I think I've heard, I think I have this album on my iPod actually. Yeah, I do. It has Surrender, Clock Strikes, How Much You Want Me, I'll, ain't, ain't That a Shame. Yeah, I have like, I have this album I saw on my iPod actually, so yeah, it's a pretty cool album. Next one is Billy Idol and it has White Wedding Part 1 and that's like, okay, everybody probably knows that song, like everybody. I don't know. If you don't know who Billy Idol is, then that, that sucks, you know. Anyways, and then there's Hot in the City. I don't remember any, I haven't listened to the song like, I don't know, probably like a year or so. But it's been a lot, I should listen to it more often. And the next one is Doors Absolutely Live, and I haven't listened to this one like forever. Like, it's been a long time, but yeah. I think it was, it was pretty cool. The next one is Kiss Pretty Chris, and I have not listened to this one in like ages. It's been like so long, on like, like seriously, it's like, I have not, like, I think I listened to this like a couple times, and that's about it, but yeah. Okay, the next ones I have, I really don't listen to, they're just kind of sitting here in my collection. This one's a Clash, Comet Rock. This next one is Flash Gordon by Queen. The next one is a Jimi Hendrix Experience. And I don't know what it says. Are you experienced at the bottom? That's what it says. And then there's Sydney Lopper, She's So Unusual. Then there's Johnny Cash, Live at Quentin. Then there's a Psychedelic Furs. And then there's a King's State of Confusion. And these ones are kind of just sitting in the back of my collection. They're just there, I don't know. But I actually haven't really listened to these ones like, that much. So these next ones are my boyfriend's. And he actually left these on here because like, I, I, like, he doesn't have a record player. So whenever he comes over, he can just listen to the vinyls he has. Instead of just bringing them every time he comes over. So from his collection, he has Rush. Um, Pseudo Echo. This one I bought for him. This one's Iron Maiden, Peace of Mind. I got this one for him for Christmas. I don't think, it's not, it's not my record player right now. But yeah, this is like a really cool album. And then he has UFO Phenomenon. And he has Iron Maiden Life After Death. Helix, Long Way to Heaven. Iron Maiden Killers, and this is another one I got him, I think. Hold on. Yeah, I think I got this I got this one for like last Christmas. So yeah, this is a pretty cool album. I actually like listened to it like kind of like before I actually got to the open game it's him, so yeah. And then there's Star by Violation, and then there's Scorpion's Virgin Killer, and then there's Helix Walking on the Razor's Edge, 
And then he has two Iron Maiden singles, and it, this one's Running Free. And actually, like, okay, the Running Free is like kind of one of my most like favorite Iron Maiden songs out there. So yeah, I think it's like pretty cool. And I think it has Burning Ambition on the back of it. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of bad. I'm sure this is like before. Oops. But yeah, Running Free is like probably one of my most favorite singles out here. So I'm gonna like jam me out to this like now that he left this tier. And then there's Iron Maiden Purgatory. And on the back it has Genghis Kong on it, so yeah. Actually, need to listen to this. I think I heard Purgatory. I have not actually heard Genghis Kong too much. I'm pretty sure I heard it because he's always playing like Iron Maiden all the time. So I'm pretty sure I've like heard like every single Iron Maiden song because of him. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I think it's about every day's video. I'm so sorry that took so long. <laughs> I had like a lot of like vinyls. No, I'm seriously like tired from just filming this. Like I'm like really tired. I just want to go like take another nap right now. But anyways, but yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching, and that'll be it for today's video. Bye.